Everyone, I'm a the Twizzler. The biz on camera. And we're the game leaders. We're going to open up, well, we're going to go ahead and first start by offering a, a spoiler, the reason why uh, they're already open and not already coming out of the box. Yeah, our camera messed yeah, up. Yeah, our camera decided to take a shit. We already opened them and then, you know, we realized yeah. that the camera wasn't recording the whole time for some whatever reason. So. But we want you people to still see what we got because there's some pretty good cards. Oh, yeah, definitely. And we're going to start. Start with the promos. I'll oh, start with the promos? Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, let's start with... These are your guarantees. Right? The old Lord of D. Card's pretty good. Yeah, I, I like him. I like that he counts as... Uh, well, I'm sorry. King of D. I like that he counts as Lord of D. He doesn't He doesn't have the Lord of D effect, but his name becomes it. So it's like... So I think there's, I think there's either like a fusion monster or um, a ritual with blue eyes. There has to be, yeah. That, that uses Lord of D. I mean, Lord of D can use flu to summoning dragons. I mean, that's why. Well, he searches flu to summoning dragons. Is that what he does? Yeah, you, just, oh, you discard so a spell mind, or trap. Oh. So basically you would... uh. Discard Melody to the graveyard to protect your dragons to search through to summoning dragon. That's not bad. Next up, we got Goddess of the Sweet Revenge, which I think is my favorite of these promo cards. Mm -hmm. It's so versatile. It doesn't need to be in a blue eyes thing, but it's like she looks like she would be in a blue eyes thing. Its effect is really nice, you know, when your opponent declares a direct attack. <clears throat> well, it's the only card in your hand. Uh, you can discard it and destroy as many cards as possible your opponent controls, and you can special summon a monster from your deck. Right? And as Biz already knows, I'm a sucker for a monster with a higher defense than attack. <laughs> <laughs> and this lady's got it in spades. <laughs> She's also on the deck board. Front and center. <laughs> <laughs> so is the first guy. <laughs> so let's go ahead and go for the third card on the deck board with the Loop of Destruction. This card's name becomes Ring of Destruction while, while uh, on the field. Once per turn, if a monster on the field is destroyed by a card effect, except during the damage step, you can target one monster on the field, destroy it, and if you do, each player takes 500 li life point damage. This actually isn't a bad card. Honestly, either. Mm -hmm. I get that the re I, there's a reason why they had to make it into Ring of Destruction because of uh, the, the monster or whatever that this deck's all about, but this card's pretty cool. I like it better than Ring of Destruction. Is Ring of Destruction banned or at one? It's at, like, I think... It, Honestly, I don't know. I think it's a one. I think it might be, if it's that one, I don't know why uh, the other one, the uh, the other one, the other the spell card version is uh, at three. Oh. And then next up, we got the old Dragon Revival Rhapsody. You want to read that one off, man? Uh, if you control a spellcaster monster, so basically Lord of D. Basically, yeah. You can target up to two dragon monsters in your graveyard, including at least one normal monster, Blue Eyes White Dragon. <laughs> Special summon them, and your opponent takes no damage for the rest of this turn. You can only activate this card once per turn. It's also like, it only has to be one blue eyes. So you can grab blue eyes, then you can grab that, what's that one? Where if you reveal a blue eyes, you can special summon it out. You can get that that's, guy too. That's alternative. Yeah, you can grab but that the, guy too. Uh, Dragon Spirit of White is a normal monster in the hand or graveyard too. Oh yeah, you're right. Last, the, last but not least, the guy we talked about. Old Destruction Dragon. Must be special summon with the Fancritius using Ring of Destruction. Once per turn, you can target one card your opponent controls. Destroy it. Then, if it was a monster card, inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's attack. Mm -hmm. This is basically Ring of Destruction, the monster. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, and I see what they try to do there with the whole Fancritius, which means I feel like I have an <laughs> inkling that they're going to make a, a Joey thing with this. They, they got, if they got... They already did with Aya Tamias with Yugi. They should. They got Fan Critias with him. They need to do, um... Oh, what the hell? Uh, uh, something of Hermos. Claw of Hermos? Claw of Hermos. Because that would be... That's fitting. Yeah. All right, let's get to the cards here now. First up... The old Z Metal Tank. Let's go in and move these... I'll put, I'll put these down here. i put this on there? Yeah. Because I'm going to have probably three, two or three rows. I'll do Z Metal Tank there. The, a uh, staple in a lot of the in the original there's a new XYZ. X, the, the new XYZ fusion monster, I think, is in this thing, too. Really? I don't know what he does. It's like XYZ plus ABC plus... Yeah, you know, really? Like, yeah, something like that. Weirdly enough, there was a lot of uh, uh, ABC... Uh, Ojamas go with the ABC guys for some reason. And there was a lot of weird Ojama support in the last... Uh, in that uh, Pegasus pack I said I bought. Yeah, there was a like couple a, days ago. a there Jama was, Duo or something Yeah, like that. a Jama Duo, there was a Jama match and stuff like that, and there was also this card. A Jamification. Blah! Blue Eyes White Dragon. <laughs> there wasn't this card, though. <laughs> <laughs> this is the cool artwork of him. I, mean, I like that he's about to pop off with, uh, what is it, White Lightning? 
attack? Uh, life burst stream? No. No? <laughs> Is that what it's called? It's probably like, that's probably his, like, that's probably another Blue Eyes guy. That sounds about right. It's no. not, it's not Hyper Beam? No, when Dark, it was like, it was White Lightning Attack because the other guy was Dark Magic Attack. So it was like, they were pretty simplistic in the first season. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want to confuse us too much. Do Mouth Beam Attack. Right, yeah. <laughs> Do your Kamehameha. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is the old Dragon Shrine. Want to read it? Uh, send one dragon monster from your deck to the graveyard, then if that monster in your graveyard is a dragon normal monster, you can send an additional dragon monster from your deck to the graveyard. You can only activate one per turn. That card. Yeah. These are, this is, this makes a pretty good, uh, blue-eyes deck. Well, so far. That doesn't. Oh, it's apparently, <laughs> supposed to, apparently they go hand-to-hand, because, -hand like, the old XYs. <laughs> and that's maybe the next card, which is this? Dark Arm Dark Dragon. dragon. Cannot be normal summon a are set must be special summon from from your hand by having exactly three dark monsters in your graveyard. You can banish one dark monster from your graveyard, then target one card on the field. Destroy that target. This is actually a really good card. Mm -hmm. Like, like it's, three it's, dark monsters is not hard to get. Also, its effect isn't once per turn. Yeah, it's, you so can you just can keep do, doing it. You can it. do it three times. You know, and also, since it has three monsters you have to have in your graveyard anyway, you technically could pop, pop it out and then have all, then automatically, let's say you got to banish the three guys. Yeah. Oh, does it? Yeah, but they're already in your grave. No, 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 no. You got a special one by just having them in there. Mm -hmm. So when you ban it, you can banish three of them off the second it comes out because you have three already in the graveyard. Yeah. And boom. It's not that's one, three it's, cards going. It's not once per turn. Yeah, this, this is actually a really good card. That's why it's limited. <laughs> is it really? Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. That card uh, is ridiculous. Next card up. Soul Exchange. Oh, old Kaiba, <laughs> old Kaiba Classic. <laughs> He's busted out Obelisk in that numerous times. I breaking the card. rules. I... <laughs> breaking the rules. <laughs> why would I want to give him my battle phase? That's so dumb. Right? Cause you get you have to get their monster and look their souls are exchanging. Well, Kaiju does the same damn thing. It's true. That's very true. Traded. Traded. Nice. This is a staple, I think, in any like blue eyes. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, honestly, I, I hope I get more trade ins, but I don't I don't. Get it's a nice trade -ins. rarity bump. But yeah, like, hey, it's got a little. Is this holographic too? Yeah. Oh my god, it is. Every it's, single one of this. Every every, single... every card in this set is a uh, holographic. Wow. That's what we got. The old protector with eyes of blue. And it does a bunch of stuff. It's also with a tuner. Which they is, all uh, are. Level 1 light tuners, they all are. Right. That's what the field card does. It searches them. But next up is this. Another one. <laughs> <laughs> <Where's> this? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Alright. I'm going to move it here. Because they're both with eyes of blue. And next up is... Tiger Dragon. This card is kind of cool. When this card is tributed summon by tributing a dragon monster, you can target up to two set cards in your opponent's spell or trap card zone and destroy them. That's not bad. It's really specific. It is. It's you could really just is. you could just use twin twisters, honestly. Also, I mean, what cards in in the blue eyes deck are you tributing? This guy. They're gonna be like, yeah, I know <laughs> that guy, but he's six, so you gotta tribute something for him. You're not tributing any of these eyes of blue guys. Cause they're all one stars. Yeah, it, you know they all do things you need to have done. This card might have had its day, but it's not now. Right, it's, it's too, not today. It's too much, yeah. <laughs> Maybe if there weren't eighty-five different ways to special summon module on the field, yeah. it would have its day. But also this. No, oh, Master of Eyes of Blue. Another, another, another guy in the Eyes of Blue Brigade. I think Sage is the best one. Yeah, I think it is too. Cause I think it, I think it <clears throat> digs one out of your deck. That's also probably the most, I think it's the most expensive one too, <clears throat> online. For those guys, even though everyone's holographic, except Dragoonie Ducks. Dragoonie Ducks is that? yeah, there is Dragoonie uh, guys in this. He gains 200 each for each Dragoonie card you control. When this card is normal summoned, you can target one level three or lower Dragon Dragoonie monster in your graveyard. Equip that card to this target. Equip that target to this card. I'm sure they all do. I'm sure Dragoonies do things that like allow you to. Equip things onto each other and then do a bunch of stuff. Cause otherwise, yeah. I don't understand that effect. They just they just announced the new Dragoonity Synchro Monster. Um, I forget what its first effect is, but basically, when it dies, you can special summon a Synchro Tuner from your extra deck. Wow! And this guy would pop out because he's a Dragoonity Monster, right? I think. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> I don't. I don't know how Dragoonities work. <laughs> yeah. <I don't> <laughs> like, next up. Ooh. W wing catapult. Let's go ahead and put, pop him over here by Z. We need his Y now. Right? Oh, yeah. That's and the one that looks like a pterodactyl. <laughs> <laughs> and then the actual fusion monster. You still need him. Yeah, I need him too as well. Because I don't want them to do anything together. Next up. 
Return of the Dragon Lord. One. Uh, target one level seven or eight dragon monster in your graveyard. Special summon. If a dragon monster you control be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. That's not bad. So you can pitch that card with King of D. That's that's the play. Pitch it with King of D, and then search out Fluta Summoning, uh, Dragon. I think it's called. Yeah, yeah Fluta yeah, Fluta Fluta, Fluta, Fluta Summoning Dragon. Wow, that's an old card. It's crazy. But it, it's getting a comeback. But so is this. Nah, this card's actually been pretty good for a while. Dragon Spirit of White. All right. Counts as a normal monster in your hand or graveyard. I think it's the one that pops a uh, a spell, banishes a spell or trap. I think. Won't summon. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and then you contribute it to special summon of blue eyes. I think. Yeah, it's nuts. This card is crazy. <coughs> Not bad. Actually, put it here. Next up. Under the blue eyes. The classic blue eyes. <laughs> I might, I might, this might be the thumbnail, people. <laughs> Zoom in there. You know you there want the one go. with the tablet on it, right? That's everybody's yeah, favorite. Yeah, that one. Everybody loves that <laughs> one. <Right? laughs> it was, it was my favorite. Next up. Another Destruction Dragon, which wow. is kind of cheap. I'll give it to them, but this is a better rarity than the one I think that they got. Even though that might be more rare, technically. Yeah. Like, which one's more rare? Uh, I think this one. Really wide because it's gold. I have no spare. idea. That one's I can't. I can't tell you guys. I thought this is cool because it has the like the the holographic that like goes in lines. Yeah. Whereas this one's all holographic just by itself. But I guess whatever. Yeah. Right. I got two of them. Honestly, I don't. I don't see anybody running these monsters, so it's kind of like whatever. Yeah, anyway. Right. It's like I. I. I think I have. I got fair credits from that blue, uh, that uh, dark magician thing a couple of uh, deck openings ago, and I think I'm, I, I'm still not gonna run him. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, Castle of Dragon Souls is a good card. Once per turn, you can banish one. Actually, you know what? Why don't you read it, man? Uh, get a good. It's got a, kind of a book here. Once per turn, you can banish one dragon monster from your graveyard, then target one monster you control. It gains 700 attack at the end of the turn, even if this card leaves the field. When this face up card on the field is sent to the graveyard, you can target one of your banished dragon monsters and special summon it. You can only activate this card once per turn. That's not a bad. It's a. No, it's a continuous trap. Mm -hmm. Which means I don't think. Do. Besides maybe like Dragon's Ravine or something, do Blue Eyes have a field card? Yeah, Mausoleum of White. Oh, yeah. You're right. Yeah, you're right. I think that one searches uh, level 1 light tuners. Which so is what the, what basically yeah. what these are. Because everything. Every and blue, Effect Veiler. Because <laughs> they search out all the blue eyes, so it doesn't yeah. matter about them being like. A diffusion! Nice. <laughs> right? For when I want to diffuse my own fusions. Which I think. I've never seen anyone in the anime ever do it to an opponent's monster. They always did their own thing when they got thing. I guess I could diffuse this guy. I could fuse Destruction Dragon into a... Well, I mean, there's got to be some monsters that do shit when they're summoned, where you don't need, like, polymerization or something like that. And you can chain this to special summon those monsters. Yeah, but do that count do as special summons? Yeah. Do that, does that count as special summoning your monster if you defuse him? I thought it might just count, bring it back to the original. Yeah, target a fusion monster on the field and return it to the extra deck. And then if all the fusion materials that were used for its summon in your graveyard, you can special summon them. Oh, wow, yeah. You're right. So yeah. if you have a uh, <clears throat> fusion monster that doesn't need polymerization... There's a blue eyes monster that does it. If that thing has an effect on summon, you can summon it, pop its effect, activate the fusion, send it back to the extra deck, get back the materials, and then just do it again because you don't need polymerization. Wow. Blue eyes. I got hands, you guys. It's pretty cool. But so is this. My Doom Virus Dragon. This actually does use a Fang Radius. He pretty much just he's pretty much like a virus, uh, Doom Virus the monster. Yeah. Is that the one that's banned? Um, the the trap card, the virus trap card. I think it's at one. Okay. Yeah, I think it's at one. So it's over here. On the one fusion, you know. In the drop edition one, we got a whole bunch. We got like six. I mean, they were throwing everything they fucking could, but that also we got exactly that. I feel like that that deck list was exact. You no, know, everyone got the exact same cards. Yeah. But no one got this card. Calls down. I like it. I like calls down. Discard one card for the rest of this turn. Uh, reduce the levels of all monsters in your hand by two, even after they are summoned. Oh wow! So basically, you can like wow. This card's going in the single deck. <laughs> yeah, like you are, but 
I think his car would be good if you didn't have to discard, but right. the fact you have to but discard then, is like. But you got you always got to pay a cost, and if it, if you didn't have to pay a cost, you probably would get hit by something. You know, it'd be abused, and then it would get banned. Yeah, because you could basically just you know normal yeah. normal summon a high level monster without tributing. Hell, if you take away Blue Eyes, two stars, he's six. Once once yeah, that price is out, yeah. you know, it's like <laughs> next one up. Another fusion. The fusion, you better do your work. Because I got, I got a blue eyes twin burst dragon. Does that do anything on summon? You want to check it out and read it? Um, it is a book. You don't need polymerization. Can't be destroyed by battle. This card can make up to two attacks on the monsters during each battle phase. At the end of the damage step, when this card attacks an opponent's monster, but that opponent's monster was not destroyed by battle, you can banish that opponent's monster. This is a good card. So you could like use him to swing into a high attack fire monster. Right. He can't be destroyed, but the other one can get banished. You and still take the damage though. It sucks that he. he it you sucks still that, take the damage. <laughs> right. It sucks that he, his two materials are the same attack power as him, and the same defense. <clears throat> yeah, but you don't need polymerization, so you can just. Yeah, if you control you him just, already, then you could just two blue eyes, you know. Right. Yeah, you're right. Well, speaking of which, speaking of the devil, we got a little ring of defense. When a trap card, when a track effect that inflicts damage is activated, make that effect damage zero. I, th I think they eroded this card. I think originally it had to do with the trap with Ring of Destruction. Yeah. And now they made it generic where it's like, if anything does anything to you, you can just do it. But, you know, trap effect, it's like, unless they're going to bust out magical cylinder on your ass. I think Just Desserts got reprinted in this set too. <laughs> really? Yeah, so. Weird. <laughs> All these chain burn players. Yeah, they can. I, I got, <laughs> first of all, I got first of all, they can suck a dick, and right. then also, you know, yeah, just right? desserts. I got my ring. I got my ring of defense <laughs> ready, so it's fine. Next up, speaking of the devil, and you said earlier, the old stone of the ancients. I guess that's another tuner that Mausoleum of White will search. Uh, yeah, 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 I think so. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right, folks, we got three more cards here. This right here. Thunder Dragon. <laughs> this is the boss monster of the whole deck. Yay. <laughs> Stop, it's two more Thunder Dragons. Why is it five star? <laughs> right? <laughs> like, they should, <laughs> the only thing like, the only thing I would go for is, is it was at least four star. But you know it's fine. I can get two more Thunder Dragons. It only so. has sixteen hundred attack. Like, what the fuck is that? It's, it's like it, it was like a first gen monster. <laughs> and that was cool back in the day because you could just start a monster out without tributing. That'd be really awesome if I could do it without having to tribute. Yeah. I just have three more monsters in my hands. So well, that's what cost down's for. Right? See? <laughs> it's all coming that's together. It's all coming together, dude. <laughs> DD Crow. 100 and 100. It's a tuner? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's, it's a, not, no. Wow. It's actually car would be, this car would be actually pretty sweet if it was a tuner. Yeah. Right? Like, when you think about it? And for the very last card, well, actually, not the very last card. We still got three more. Four more, actually. But this right here, Rider another of the storms. Rider of the storms. Wind, storm winds. <laughs> <laughs> I think you equip him to a dragon monster. That monster just does piercing damage or something like that. That's pretty cool. He's a tuner. Yeah, that's him. Pop off him. And he immediately another one up. star light tuner. And all right, folks. The next four cards are really sweet. And before we show those four cards, I want to go ahead and show you the other side of this match. You guys might have thought, like, oh, that's pretty cool. I mean, I don't know you guys, but, you know, it's pretty cool. But here's the other side. The, sh the side it should the have been. The side that is <coughs> the junks. And that side is my man. Kaiba. Seto Kaiba. You can tell right there in that picture he's about to screw the rules. <laughs> he's got his two homies on it. He's got his one homie on one side. <laughs> oh, Kaiba Corp. Yeah, this de this definitely should have been the front of the mat. I wish it had the actual uh, most people play on it. Most well, most people play mats don't even have the zones. Yeah, no, probably that's, that's the thing. So I'm gonna keep it on this for the yeah, rest of the time. Yeah, that's that's the side. And you know what? That's what we're gonna go ahead and show the first card from our from these things here. And the first card is Utopia the Lightning. Utopia the motherfucking lightning. Nice. Is it? Number S thirty nine. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't remember what the S's do. I know C. Yeah. I know C stands for yeah, chaos. Yeah, C. Yeah, because they they have special uh cards that bring out chaos monsters, but I don't know what S does. But this is fine. actually nice because I think he was only ever printed once. Wow. 
And he's he's like super hollow. Where like even the black parts are holographic. <laughs> yeah. Next card up is gonna be <clears throat> Joel Lockburn. Holy shit! Now also he's one star. That's awesome. It sucks they didn't make him a tuner. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Like, you know, if he was a tuner, like, it's gotta be a staple he'd be a for fucking like amazing. almost any deck. And I love this fucking card. I think he might be my favorite hand trap. But I wish he was a tuner. It would be so much better. Yeah. That makes, and unfortunately, that makes Effect Bealer better than him because she's a tuner. Well, no, well I mean, they do, star. they do, they do different things. Yeah, but if I'm trying to further their effects, play, their effects yeah, are two, right. two completely different things. All right. Yeah. Let's see what the third card is. Card of demise. Nice. Card's good. Um, basically, basically, you just play your whole hand, or set everything, and then activate this. You get some free draws. Right. Three, even, right? even if you have to discard, it's like, well, whatever. Mm -hmm. you know, you're still digging through your deck. Not everything is in the graveyard is going to be bad. The card's really good. Right. And the final card to cap all this off. You know, we've got a lot of cards here today. And we're going to go ahead and cap it off with... Oh, my God! What? <laughs> <laughs> it's Witch's Fire. You know? <clears throat> yeah. You look at cards like this, it's like... Zombie and Fire. You think... Well, zombies. I mean, well, those, why those, is that? They're Shuranui's sure, sure or Shuranai's, whatever they're called. They're all fire zombies. But was this card like <coughs> subtly kind no. of designed? You know, right? No. It's like, no, they made this card so generic. It's like, they're not going to. No one in the Shuranui was like, this card was made for their, us. Their lore yeah, or whatever is. is and that's they're, it. They're ghost girls. Yeah, that's, right. That's their thing. And that, which means that Joan Lockbard is not from the same little ghost girl family as them, right? Because she's not even a ghost. She's like a. Warrior chick that hung out with the. Oh no no! I don't I don't think they're anything to do with each other. Yeah right. She's not even a tuner, so that obviously she's not in the same family. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's not bad, man. That's like a sixty seventy dollar card right yeah, there. Yeah, just in these four cards alone, I think it, this thing paid for itself probably like maybe two or three fold. But mm -hmm. I I did get two blue eyes, so you know what? And this sweet ass map, I'm definitely going to use the hell. Yeah, out that map is really nice. nice. This is probably my new mat now. Peeps. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, honestly, with the luck we had this time, we might even open up another kind of thing if we, if uh, old Walmart lowers uh, has more in stock. Because I'll tell you right now, I ain't paying fifty bucks. Yeah, there's really no point. Like, Why pay fifty when you can just pay thirty at Walmart? Yeah, that that's twenty dollars off, and maybe we'll see what's going on with that in another time. But. Uh, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Um, let us know if you want to open up any other boxes. Like we can, there's a lot of a lot of deck boxes out in, let, the, in the past. Let us know if you want us to see us duel. Yeah, or even do a deck, or even do a uh, deck synopsis for any of our decks. Yeah, you know, a little deck that'd profile cool too. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool too. Deck but, profile uh, including these four fucking cards. Because you know they're gonna be in. Fucking, <laughs> you know they're, they're gonna be in there. They're totally gonna, gonna be in there. Gonna be in that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but as always, I was uh, the Twizzler and Biz Darky. We'll move the game layers and go in and, uh, you know, do all the things. Yeah, stay tuned for more. Yeah, because we will definitely have more for you guys. Peace. Peace.